Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the brand new DJI Motion Controller 2. This is a second generation product from DJI and includes several upgrades from the original product that I think you're going to really like. Now, before I get into all those discussions, I always like to start with a quick unboxing of any product I'm reviewing just to show you everything that's included with the kit so you understand exactly what you get if you decide this product's right for you. And then I'll dive into what this controller can do and more importantly, what's changed from the last generation of controller. But let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the Motion Controller 2. You'll find a really nice wrist strap, and I always recommend using the wrist strap because when you're flying FPV, you're going to get really excited. And if this controller goes flying, it's tied to your drone, which means whatever the controller does as it tumbles through the grass, your drone's going to do up there in the air. So having a wrist strap on it not only protects this from you breaking it by dropping it on concrete, but also protects your drone that's up in the air that's directly tethered to this. So always use that wrist strap. You'll also find a full instruction manual that explains everything you could possibly want to know about the motion controller too. Always read through that manual. I know it's a boring exercise, but there's a lot of good details in there that'll help you get the best value out of the product. All right, so let's talk about the motion controller too, because I've been flying with the original motion controller ever since it was released. I like it an awful lot. I think it's a phenomenal way to fly an FPV drone because I come from the camera drone side of the house where I've been flying camera drones forever. Moving into FPV, it's a completely different experience. And if you've not flown FPV, you're going to crash a lot when you first start flying because it's really hard to get used to a drone that doesn't automatically horizontally level for you. So it's going to move in the air just like you were flying through the air like Superman. And using a standard controller with an FPV takes a lot of practice to get good. What this does is it allows you with a single hand to fly that drone in a very intuitive way. So again, if you've never used a motion controller, there are gyroscopes inside the unit, three of them, that look for motion in this direction, this direction, and in this direction, and then mimic that in the flight of the drone. So when those gyroscopes detect motion, they make the drone move in the same direction. So if I move it this way, it's going to sort of pivot this way, up and down. I can do all kinds of things with it, but it's extremely intuitive. It takes you about 10 minutes to get used to the controls. Now, one of the changes they made, which I think is great, is on the trigger. You'll notice there's a little piece on the front right here that extends over your finger. The last generation of product had a trigger, but there wasn't this in front. And you might be thinking, well, what's the big deal? The big deal is this accelerates the drone. So if it's flying through the air, the more I pull this, the faster it goes. This allows me to pull up on it like that, which pulls the drone back. So I can fly forward by pulling in. I can fly back by pulling back. So it's it takes a second to get used to it, but it's very intuitive. And that was one of the problems I had with the last controller is that if you're flying fast and you want to pull back from a tree, you would have to go like this with the controller and it would pull back, but it kind of slid forward. So it gave you kind of a little scary experience there where it would slide forward before it would stop. With this one, I can go immediately back on the, on the controls and the drone stops in midair and speeds back. Another big difference is on the joystick. On the last product, it was a flat button joystick. And if your fingers get a little sweaty because you're out there flying in the summer, it would slide in the joystick. So it was hard to get that friction between your finger and the joystick. On this one, I'm going to do a close-up of it, but there's a little knob on the top. So it feels just like a joystick on the controller. And when you put your thumb on that, there's no slipping. It's going to stick on your thumb and you can control it a lot easier. And again, that joystick allows you to have the drone slide left and right, slide forward and back. So it gives you control over it. Above it here is the main button to start the drone. So you'll tap it twice to start your drone. You'll hold it down to take off. Below that is a mode button. On the side of the unit, you've got a, a wheel over here that controls some of the video and photo uh, options you have inside. You tap it once to go into the menu and then slide this up and down. You'll also find a record button right there so you can actually start a video recording, take a picture. You can switch between video and photo by holding it in. You'll snap between them. There's a power button right there. So you'll tap that once, tap it again and hold it to start this up. And then on the bottom, you'll find a USB-C connection right here, if I can get into it. There you go. USB-C connection on the bottom, and that's used for charging the product. Now, again, this is used with the DJI goggles, but between this and the original controller, I just find this one, maybe because I've been using it for a couple of weeks, uh, I find this much more intuitive. And again, if you're a camera drone flyer today and you're thinking about getting an FPV, I can promise you the controllers can be a little bit intimidating, so it's going to take you a while to get up in the air. This is a great way to bridge that experience between camera drone flying and FPV flying by using a simple intuitive controller that allows you to fly, make turns, 
make turns this way, make turns that way, look up, look down, and have acceleration control right here as well as a joystick on top. It's just a brilliant design, and I think DJI has really done a phenomenal job with this brand new motion controller too. And that's all I really had for today, so hopefully you found this review helpful. I think this is a wonderful product. I've been using it for a couple of weeks, and I think you're going to like it a lot as well, especially if you're flying FPV. And that's all I had, so thanks again for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Thank mm -hmm. you.